Waipine County and Nevada Department of Transportation Annual Workshop, February 17, 2022.
and your needs will be heard. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to happen, <laughs> but I'm, I'm assuring you that they're going to be heard. So we're receiving your needs today. We go back, we inventory the need request, just like why we're reporting, because Chris and I are traveling to 14 rural counties collecting all of this information and this data. Uh, we associate it with GIS mapping. We have your descriptions of why this is a need. Um, and then we go through our, our process here of, of what we, we document the data for each of the needs that tie to those six goal areas I mentioned. And then we have our project development committee and they look at this and they recommend the next steps for action, which could include additional study, could include design, could include construction, or it could be this doesn't fit up here right now and it's gonna go right here for now. Okay. Um, just briefly, I wanted to let you know that since we're going through so many changes at NDOT, um, and I, I'm obviously new in this role, but we're also going through this whole rural county engagement and revitalization plan. We are kind of overhauling the program. And so going forward, our workshops may not look like this. Um, it may be different. We're gonna, you may be contacted by a consultant we have asking what your preference is. Do you want us out here more frequently? Do you want a more informal pop in, take me for a drive, show me what the issues and concerns are? Do you want a more formal approach? So we'll see what you all think. <laughs> um, but the reason we're doing that is to improve and modernize our public outreach and, and better collaboration with our rural partners. If you're on social media, you can follow us on these three. Um, and then, let's see, lastly, <coughs> have our contact information. So the one on the lower left, Scott, he's the one who left, but if you have interest in the TAP program and grant funding for that, please contact me. Um, and what I want to do now is turn it over to all of you. Let's go to your priorities from last year in the back of your packet. And you have the floor. It's up to you how you would like to proceed. If you want to go through this list, if you want to start from scratch, if you want to take things off, I mean, it's a, a, some rural counties have lists of eight, some have 30. <laughs> so, you have the floor. Yes, sir. Uh, Shane brought up, and it's not on here, but the junction that he's talking about here, we have the by lanes truck stop. But I went to Vegas a while back, and mm -hmm. as you approach the turn at the what we call the blackjack, the turn on the 318, mm -hmm. It comes upon you quick, so a couple of cars in front of me drove right through it past okay. because there was no uh, real signage Signing. that said go to that. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the lanes is definitely important because it, it, it involves the community of Lund. But as you're heading down 93 and you turn off to 318, okay. I think some signage prior to that saying left turn to Las Vegas or whatever you yeah. have because they drive right through mm -hmm. that. And then you got to go up about a quarter of a mile, flip around and come back because they missed the turn. Mm -hmm. And I think that's uh, one of the things that Shane brought up is just some, some signings. It's a little bit different than the slow down at Lane's truck stop, sure. but it's just to uh, give some direction as to how to, w when you're coming upon the, the junction there at uh, 318 and 93. Okay, and I appreciate that. Those are things, um, unfortunately we don't have anyone here from our oh, local okay. district office, I don't think. No. Uh, confusion on oh. 93? Okay, go, go ahead. No, I, I was just saying on number three right here, I think the request of number three is to designate 318 as alternate 93. Oh. Instead of. So different. Right. We're talking yes. different. We're talking yes. different. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Gotcha. And, and it's not just London, it's also Preston. There's two communities. Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, I will take that. Um, one of the things we're doing, probably oversharing here, but so um, NDOT as an organization, we have what about 2,000 employees? I think it's 1,700. Okay, so we have our headquarters in Carson City and then we have districts across the state. Are you all familiar with that? So we have district one, two, and three. And um, we have a lot of uh, silos at NDOT. And one of the things we're trying to do at these workshops is break down those silos internally. So your request right now with regard to signage is something 
I will be going back and letting our district office here know about that. Like that's something that we can take care of at a local